Life was good. We were blessed. We had been married for a couple of years. We were enjoying life in Singapore, and we had a baby on the way. These were answers to our prayers. These were sources of comfort. However, comfort does have the habit of slipping away. Five months in and one heartbeat less, we saw the perfect life we pictured slip from our grasp. There was pain, there was brokenness, there was sadness. After months of anticipating joy, we found ourselves in the middle of unimaginable grief. Across Southeast Asia and the Philippines, grief has made itself known to many parents. Not due to the loss of a life, but the giving away of one. Soft hands and fragile skin sold to feed mouths and fill pockets for a day. There's no hate in the giving away, only desperation. Desperation brought about by circumstance. Desperation that leads to child trafficking, infant prostitutes, child criminals, abandonment, it's tough to see the demand for such a business at such a high level. Billions of dollars being used to fund the violation of innocent bodies, some too young to even comprehend the pain. Even more, it's tough to know that this is being done in the land we grew up in, right in the city we call home. Our hearts beat for these children, so much so that it beats for a specific one. If we were to be advocates for these children, then we must first be examples. In October 2017, a pregnant mother couldn't keep her child. So with desperation, she searched for someone to be the one to hold her baby in their arms. We wanted to help, and so we did. But we never knew that it would be our hands that God would use to cradle this child. Three weeks in and one heartbeat more, we had her in our grasp. Our hearts were filled with love and our souls refashioned. We are no heroes, just followers answering a call. Had we chosen to reject the call, turn our heads away, or hesitate even for a moment, our child would have been one of many whose body has become a commodity. She has one less child prostituted, one less child trafficked, one less child abandoned, one less child lost in the system, one less child victim, one less orphan, but she is just one less. There are millions of children out there who may never have access to a family, access to care, to nourishment, to shelter, to safety, to a childhood. But if more people extended their arms to these children, if the stigma behind adoption was redefined to be a culture of love, then two less children would be trafficked, 10 less children abandoned, a thousand less children criminals, a million less children victims to this injustice. And instead, more children would be welcomed home by families, we will treat them with love, provide them with nourishment, house them in shelter, care for their safety, and allow for them to have a childhood. Now the call is great, but the answer is simple. It's a heart willing to serve and a courageous kind of love. It's open arms and open homes. At the Rohe Foundation, we advocate for adoption. As of 2016, 1 1.8 million children in the Philippines were considered abandoned or neglected. And out of that 1.8 million, only 1,818 were placed for adoption. So as a response, the Rohe Foundation aims to develop programs that provide holistic care for pregnant women in crisis to rescue babies before they are abandoned and disowned, and to encourage and guide families in their adoption journey. Through this, we hope to see a world where every orphan is adopted into a family, and that all families would be empowered to move in compassion and generosity toward children in need of families. Because at the end of the day, family is the answer.